So let's get practical. What do I mean about these implementing of our policies and procedures? What I mean is if it's part of my procedures that these uh, tablet boxes need to be positioned straight and level for the uh, customer presentation, we need to move away from this being the default and sticking them all together such that they're always nice and straight and always perfectly aligned. So even if I'm asking the staff to use the shredder, it's my job as a store owner to make using the shredder as easy as possible. So I don't need to be free to serve customers and to be there to, to counsel patients, uh, but my team still needs to know what to do. So if I need to have my staff sort the claim while being at the front in a confidential manner, I need to have my systems and you know, design my pharmacy such that they can put the claim out of the way just as soon as somebody's called. If it's part of my policies and procedures that we don't have Symbian boxes containing ethical products sitting on the floor, then I need to have a system devised such that my Symbian boxes are easily kept out of the way. I need to position important information so it's there, right at my staff's fingertips. And priorities are close at hand. I need to have a professional and consistent marketing image. And I need it to convey the important information that was required for the customers. My retail image needs to be easily identifiable and appealing to the customer. Yet while consistent with our retail image, professional products need to have a point of difference so they're not just ordinary specials. My team need to have a ready and accessible area for them to work, but designed in such a way that they can serve the customer as soon as they've walked in the door. So I need to position my office so I've got enough space to get my work done, yet still be accessible to the customer. Hello. 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 I need to have systems that tell the team exactly where they need to order the stock from. and maximum stock levels already defined such that the team know exactly how many is too many to have on the shelf. And a change needs to be in a custom built change drawer. It's always great when the printer can tell you which side to face up and awesome if you can have all your handy notes sitting there safely under the glass when you look down. We need tags to attach to the script when it's kept in the fridge so what's the point of all these tags? Well, the point of the tags is, is that they ensure consistent communication with my team so I can have an uninterrupted conversation with the customer. So I believe if you want to deliver excellence in business management, you need to plan to be excellent in customer service. To be excellent in customer service, you have to have excellent systems to enable you to deliver this excellent customer service on a consistent basis. Systems are the key, and systems are the, are the system for my success. So that's a snapshot of just some of my systems for success.